guys I wanted to show you guys one of my foundation routines this is not my everyday foundation routine but this is what I do when I really want to have a really defined face have all the highlighting and contouring and just times when I I'm going out or anything like that but it is different from my everyday routine because I don't wear this much makeup every day but I figured it would be nice to show this to you guys and I do not have a tutorial for this look that I'm wearing today but I can do one if you guys would like I just kind of felt inspired by spring so I kind of just did a neutral eye with a pop of bright green underneath and I really really like it and then I also paired this look with Pink Nouveau by MAC on my lips and I just think it looks really nice and if you guys want a tutorial on that let me know. So if you guys want to see how I do my foundation then keep watching. Okay so I already have my eyebrows done as you can tell that is the only makeup I'm wearing. I just filmed a tutorial for this actually if you guys are interested in seeing that I will have the link down below. My eyes are really really dry right here so if you notice that it's like really dry or white and like kind of peeling a little bit just ignore it because I have no idea what is going on with my skin but it's been like that for a few weeks now and nothing absolutely nothing has been working and it like makes my eyes look all wrinkly because my skin is so tight and dry and oh my god I think I really need to see a dermatologist actually because it's kind of getting irritating to the point where like I'm gonna rip my eyeballs out first I'm gonna take this little sample I got it's the Ren Rose oil and this is from my friend Brie she works at Sephora and she gave me a little sample of this and it smells so good love this stuff I'm gonna put it on my face because my face is a little bit dry I'm gonna especially put that around my eye area that's where it's the most dry all right so I don't know if you can tell in the camera but I get a lot of redness around my nose and down the sides a little bit so it kind of makes it look like I have a five o'clock shadow and I hate it like I'm really self-conscious about it like I know I don't have a five o'clock shadow obviously it just it's always so red right here and it stops like right around here I hate that like I I don't cover it up all the time because it's so much work but I'm gonna be taking the NYX HD photogenic concealer and it's green and this neutralizes any redness that you have on your face I like to just dab this on to any redness that I have. I'll go down a little bit down the sides. I like to really make sure that it's covered completely. It's actually quite common to get redness around your nose. I take my finger and I just dab this in and kind of blend it out but I'm not gonna be rubbing it in because then it kind of just wipes it away. Alright, so I know it looks really strange right now but I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Lumi in W4. I'm taking my Sedona Lay 727 brush and I'm just gonna be putting some of that onto here like that. I'm going to start brushing this onto my face. I'm gonna kind of be avoiding the green a little bit. I'm just gonna brush this onto my skin around it at first. Before this dries, I'm going to buff out the foundation with my Sigma Round Kabuki, the F82. I'm going to just dab this kind of lightly onto the green concealer. That way I'm not rubbing it in and just smearing it off basically. It's a little bit time consuming. That's one reason I don't like doing this every single day. Next I'm going to highlight and contour. I'm not really going to contour with a cream or liquid foundation because I don't really have any dark enough. I need to go get a darker one so I can. I am just going to take this liquid concealer and this is Rimmel London Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. Names are just so long for makeup sometimes. This is in the shade 125 Fair. So I am just going to be highlighting my face and then contouring using my 
powder bronzer. I always like to start right under the eye area. I'm gonna be applying that in a V shape. You kind of just squeeze it and it comes out into a little brush. And I go all the way up to my temple. Basically, you just wanna do this to any of the high points on your face. So I'm gonna take it right down here to the jawline also. I'm taking my middle finger and I'm just gonna be dabbing this into my skin. Again, I'm not gonna be like rubbing this into my skin because it just creates a nicer finish this way and it doesn't smear it off of my face. I bring it up to my temple a little bit also, kind of into a C shape and into my inner corner as well. Okay, so all the highlighting is done. Now I'm going to take my NARS Laguna. I'm taking my MAC 169 brush, 168. I can't tell because it's wearing off, but it's the white angled brush. And I'm taking Laguna, it's almost gone. Placing that right into my cheekbone area. I'm also going to be bringing that down to the jawline. So I'm going to be adding some up here to my hairline. Alright, I'm taking the Sedona Lace FB03 tapered brush just to kind of deepen it a little bit. Also going to take that down my nose a little bit. This brush is kind of big for that, so I'm going to be taking my Sedona Lace EB15 brush, and it's like a little, little taper brush, and I'm gonna be putting some of my bronzer right onto the sides of my nose. Okay, so I am done highlighting and contouring. That's the way I do it. There are many different ways to do it. Everybody just kind of has their own technique. Now I'm gonna be applying blush really quickly and I'm gonna be using the NYX Cream Blush in Glow and it just looks like this. I love this stuff. I'm gonna be taking my MAC 130 Duo Fiber Stippling Brush and applying it with that. I just kind of dab it in there a few times and then smile and apply Apply it to the apples of my cheeks and bring it back blending into the bronzer a little bit. Now I'm taking Soft and Gentle and I'm going to be taking this large fan brush by Sedona Lace. This is the FB01 and I'm going to be applying this to my, um, my cheekbones for a highlight. Last but not least, I'm going to set all of this. First of all, I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder, and I'm gonna take the Sedona Lace 850 brush. It's an angled brush, and I'm gonna be putting that on to the concealer under my eyes just so it doesn't crease as easily or as fast. I'm also applying this to the lip area because when you smile it creases very easily so this will just help it to last a little bit longer. Now I'm setting it all with a Fix Plus spray and I seriously need to get some more. It's like down here but um, I'm just going to set my face with that and it will also give me a dewy finish. Uh, 
That was the first time I've ever tasted it, and that was really nasty. It smells good, but it just ugh, does not taste good. But, oh, it's just so refreshing. I love it. It's like, it makes my skin feel so good. That is it for my foundation routine. Now I just need to do my makeup and I will be ready for the day. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests, let me know. I really hope that um, this video helped you to learn how to highlight and contour. I know there are already tons of tutorials out there, but this is just my way of doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. You guys have no idea. And thank you to everyone who is subscribed to me and everyone who has recently subscribed to me. It means the world to me. And you guys just have no idea how much I appreciate it. So I do want to do a giveaway for you guys soon. But I will keep you guys updated on that. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will have all of those links down below for you. And I feel like there was something else that I was going to say, but I really can't remember. So, yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.